look at that cute baby. You know, babies sure are cute, but man, am I happy that I don't have one right now. Oh, I am not ready for that shit. Oh no, I forgot to take my birth control yesterday. I'm gonna get pregnant. I'm too young for this. I'm far too young for this. I gotta go, I gotta find my stuff. I gotta get my bag. I have to call Dr. Wendy and get to the think tank. Okay, Dr. Wendy, so my first question, is contraception another word for birth control? It is. Yeah. Basically, contraception is any form of preventative, not getting pregnant measure. I've been on birth control now for almost 10 years. Pills. And my issue with them is that I'm not certain they're good for my overall health. I'd say birth control pills, for the most part, are pretty safe. Everything has risks. But an IUD is a really effective form of birth control with less side effects generally than the birth control pill. So an IUD is going to work by creating more cervical mucus, which is the cervix is kind of like the passageway between the sperm and the egg. And so if you block the sperm from getting through the cervix, then you kind of are doing something similar to what a condom does as far as creating that barrier. Um, a pill actually stops your ovary from releasing an egg, so there's no egg there. So even though the sperm can get through the cervix and into the uterus, there's no egg for it to fertilize. Okay, so I think I need a visual to understand this IUD situation. I can demonstrate it for you. Oh, This is sperm. Wow. This is cervical mucus. Okay. This is your cervix and your uterus. I see. And you know what, Lucy? There's an egg down there that wants to be fertilized. So this person seems to be potentially pregnant yeah. if she's not on any form of birth control. Fertility. Now, let's get rid of these sperm. Get out of there, sperm. Oh, 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 some sperm are here left behind. Imagine this is cervical mucus, and it is now blocking the passageway between the vagina and the uterus where the egg resides. OK. Try it again, Lucy. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, that's a lot of sperm and no baby. Nice try, sperm. It's a one-way street in that vagina. It's coming out. Pretty much the most effective is anything that's long-acting, including an IUD and an implant. So what makes something more effective or less effective? Mostly it has to do with user error. So it comes down to whether or not you're going to take it properly, you're going to use it properly, an IUD or an implant are inserted and they stay there until you say, take them out. Dr. Wendy, we've been talking about IUDs for so long and I'm not even sure I know what it stands for. An IUD stands for an intrauterine device. Because it's inside the uterus. Of the uterus. Mm -hmm. So you've brought all of your tools. I have. Walk me through everything before us. So there are multiple different. This is the copper IUD. Copper. See, there's copper around that plastic. These represent the progesterone containing IUDs. Do you see this little piece of plastic here? Mm -hmm. That is what has the progesterone in it that releases constantly for years. Imagine this is the vagina. The IUD goes through this part, which is the cervix, into here. That looks painful. It's not so bad. How big is this little space? Only How big enough for the IUD. Mm -hmm. oh. So what I do is I put it in there, and then I release it. Oh wow! Can I do it? If you like. Oh, let's re let's reset this IUD. Just relax, sweetie. It's only gonna take a second. How you doing? You okay? Take a deep breath. There you go. Take a deep breath. There it is. Take a deep breath. And you have an IUD. But at the end of the day, there is a contraceptive for everyone and for every lifestyle, and you should speak to your doctor to find out what that is for you. Not all contraceptives prevent STIs. Right, so you have to make sure to wear a condom for extra protection against any STIs. That's true. So wear your condoms, talk to your doctor about the best form of contraception for you, and don't forget to contact Dr. Wendy on Instagram at Dr. Every Woman because she has got all the answers. We'll see you next week on The Think Tank. Bye. Bye! Hey Snapchat, thanks for watching this episode of The Think Tank. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Lucy B. Fink. That's L-U-C-I-E, not Y.
B F I N K, and also on Snapchat at Lucy Fink. And right now, go comment on my most recent Instagram post and let me know what other topics you want to see me learn about on the Fink Tank. See you next time.